What is the fear of the ESTP? It's the same fear of all the EPs, and that is the fear of control, the fear of organizing, the fear of saying, I can manipulate the future. In fact, I can even control people and make people do stuff six months from now. Oh, oh my God, how could you say that? Only the evil IJs do that. How could you ever control something in the future? How could you ever control the tribe? You never know what's going to happen. Keep your options open, right? So the EP, all EPs, they have this over-dominant SE or NE. So all they're doing is looking around the extroverted spectrum. All they see is options, options, options. And how the hell are you going to limit those options? So planning and organizing and controlling is the devil. And they don't think that they can do it. And they think that they should not do it. They need to start applying control in their life so others are not forced to control them, right? So the ESTP, they got that overdominant SE. They want to gather in the facts. They want to gather in the understandings. Yes, they're using N like crazy because they need the N to understand and interpret what the hell they're looking at. So they're gathering in the facts. They're gathering understandings. They're gathering in new perspectives and stuff. So once they have enough SE, then they can start making the NI connections between the two. And if they're starting to have a problem, then they go, gather more SE and more SE and more SE until they then have the NI connections. This is why you'll see both lead SE or lead SI. They really prefer to have the experience before they start to make the intuition connections. They don't want to just see one or two examples and then go, oh, I got it. I see what's going on. They don't want to disrespect the facts. They prefer to take their time, go out, test it, taste it for themselves, get that SE experience, then come home and process and go, okay, now that I've actually seen it, I can now connect what is going on. Now, does this take longer? Yeah, but it's more accurate when they finally do it. So the ESTP has got that identity of TI. Now, 50% of ESTPs out there we found have save your TI and 50% have save your FE. So the SETI guy is going, I'm going to ask myself above the tribe when I need to figure something out. So a self above tribe. So SETI is an example. It's simply asking, what do I want in this situation first? And then I will go out and see the tribe's perspective. So therefore, if their TI is locked on something that they really like, it makes a lot of sense to them, it's logical, and everyone else thinks they're a jerk, they're probably going to still go go with what they think is best for them because the voting power of that demon FE, what the tribe values, is not as important as the savior TI, right? And then it's the other way around for the SEFEs. They have that demon identity, so they're not really respecting the dominance of their identity is the most important thing. That's not how they're looking at it. They're looking at the tribe's values are very important. So if everybody is liking this and everybody wants this and everybody else thinks this is great, then who am I to make an internal decision about my identity and my life to go the other way? Why would I want to fight against the tribe when I respect the tribe so much and their opinion? So the SEFE is valuing the tribe's opinions above theirs. And then the SETI is valuing their opinions above the tribe. Now, does that mean people don't go the other way? Come on, of course not. It's just that the dominant function is going this way versus that way. So it's going to take a TI guy a little bit longer to really accept what everybody else likes. And the FE guy is going to need more time to really understand what they like. TI. And you need that balance to make a good decision of this is something that works both for you and for everybody else, right? You do a one-sided decision, whether you're making everybody else happy and not yourself and you suck, or you make yourself happy and not everyone else and you suck again. It's fairly simple for all of us to balance our two middle functions because they're only off about 60-40. The first and fourth, that's what's really hard because the ESTP is getting this overstock of SE gathering, learning more, reading more, taking in more, traveling more, sick of routine teens always on to grabbing 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 more new new what facts in reality actually experience it for themselves then it creates this giant mess of all this information that they haven't processed and they're not seeing that a lot of this stuff is connected to similar experiences a lot of the patterns and trends of what they're about to walk into is very similar to what they just walked out of now it takes some introverted time meaning stop taking in new and start processing your known information nisi process your known information and start to organize that known information abstractly why because you have so much sensory how the hell are you going to organize that physically there's too much there you got to organize all that sensory in these abstract little categories and the person with savior and i is doing that in the reverse they're over organizing things through categories even though they have very little sc experience they haven't brought in a whole lot of sc facts they haven't actually tasted it and tried it themselves but they're already organizing so they'll get an imbalance that becomes very inaccurate with reality in that direction the fear of the estp like all eps is going to be that fear of the control. The fear of, I've gathered so much in my life, I have so many friends and so many opportunities and so many distractions that control is going to be for
forced on me. And that's exactly what happens. And that's what their whole life tidal wave is about. And how the hell you get out of that is you have to start starving that first function back off on that SE, back off on new, 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 and start going over known information and start seeing how it connects and start categorizing it and putting it in these different categories. And it's going to be extremely draining and boring. And you're going to feel sick. But in a couple months, when these tidal waves get less and less, you're going to feel pretty damn good about it.